right, so now that we've got the uh, basics of list segmentation down pat, let's dig in a little deeper and uh, have some fun with this stuff. Next, next topic I want to talk to you about is maybe there's a segment that you might want to create, and I think it's important to create, but maybe you might want to know who are the most hyper-responsive people on your list. Well, how do you do that, and who are they? Well, the way that you would figure that out is, again, through segmentation. And the way we would do that is just by thinking logically. Uh, most likely, the people that are going to be hyper-responsive are not the people that open one email, but probably they're the people that open and maybe even click several emails. So what we would do if we wanted to segment our hyper-responsives is we would create a segment. First, we would define what it means. Um, maybe it means they open the first three of our autoresponder follow-ups, right? Now we can segment that. Or maybe it means they've opened at least three of your broadcast email messages. Whatever it is, you can define it, but it's a person that does something over and over again. And if you can find that group, well, that's a very powerful group to know and to be able to market to. And the way that you figure that out here in uh, your autoresponder is you just go to contacts, search contacts, and uh, let's go to all subscribers. Now you can see in the segments here, right, we have our clicks and our opens, what we created before, and we can figure out the segment of people in those groups. We, so in other words, we can take one segment and further segment it even farther. So that's pretty darn powerful just to be able to see that and know that you can do that. But to find our hyper-responsive, let's just go back to all of our subscribers again uh, in any particular campaign. And then what you want to do, let's just define a hyper-responsive as a person that's opened for this demonstration, our first three autoresponder messages. So how do you do that? It's pretty simple. You just go to and in, in here, message open, and choose autoresponder. You could choose broadcast just as easily. And maybe you choose your first broadcast message. And let's let the magic happen. All right, those are the people that clicked that uh, opened my first autoresponder message. And let's go to message open again. And let's go to autoresponder. And let's choose my second message. And at least I think that's my second. And then we just click plus again. And we would go to message opened. And let's go to autoresponder again. And let's choose our third one. Now, what this is going to do, there's two different ways you can do this. If you define it as someone that did all of these actions, that's what this all means. It means the people that open this email, open this email, and open this email. Any, if we chose any as a match, you'll see this is going to change it, and the number is going to be far bigger. It's just going to be anyone, a person that opened any one of those three messages, right? And so you can see the number is much bigger. But if you want the truly, truly hyper responsive, the people that, you know, are down for the cause, can't help but sit by their computer and wait to get the next email message from you, you'll want to match it to all. The people that open number one, number two, and number three. And you can do this in lots of different ways, right? Again, I just emphasize you could choose broadcast messages in the last week, right? Every Anyone that opened the, at least three or whichever messages you choose that you sent out last week, boom, you could define those guys as your hyper responses. So right now, what I will do is I will, again, actually, let me do this so I don't overwrite that segment. Always click add new segment. So, you know, follow me as I, as I go through here. We'll choose all subscribers, all contacts, all, meaning they defined and they did all of these actions. In fact, I'm curious, since we're doing this again, let me go to newsletters. So we could do this just as easily with our broadcast emails.
And since there's not that many of these, I might just go uh, go for it and just choose them all, right? So we'll see probably like three people that are super hyper responsive. Almost there. And one more, and then we'll see the magic. I'm actually curious to see if there is uh, anyone that's opened the whole of these messages in this here demo account. So final newsletter is bada bing, bada boom. Now we let this rock and roll. So there's four hyper responsive people here that open each and every one of those emails. And again, if we want to save it, hyper responsives, response if, there we go, I just spell it right. Click save. Now those four people, you know, are worth a lot more than just the average subscriber. Those guys are open every single one of your message. So if you want to speak to them or create a segment of people that you know, can't wait, but get messages from you, and you want to, to do this, the reason you would do this is because you would speak to them differently, right? You would say, look, I, I know you're always there when I send you a message. And so that's why I wanted to make sure that I only sent this message to you, only to you, right? The, the rest of the people, they don't matter. So we can change our language based off of our subscriber behavior, based off of the segments that we create. And that gives us a lot of freaking marketing power. So if you wanted to create a hyper-responsive um, segment, this is how you do it. You could do it the way that I did it. You could define it a different way. But this is just the thought process that goes into it. And to have this as a, as a tool, as an option, is just ridiculously powerful. So um, have at it. Let me know if there's questions, comments, any cool ways you figured out the segment. And uh, yeah, that's it. that's it for this. We'll get into some more segmentation stuff in just a moment.